Hi, I'm the herb guy. My top three herbs from each state. Georgia. Next up is Georgia, where I did my basic training. Sand Hill, if you know, you know. Hoorah! Number one is kudzu. Kudzu is often called an invasive weed, but it's actually super nutritious and medicinal. And as usual, there's a ton of science to back it up. Kudzu is used to treat fevers, colds and flu, inflammation, pain, arthritis, heart disease, diabetes, and even menopause. It's like a jack-of-all-trades of herbs. And recent science shows that it does all of that, plus it helps with eye issues, Alzheimer's, depression, Parkinson's, and more. Another study showed that kudzu root extract protected umbilical cells from DNA damage and cell death during pregnancy. Once assumed to be bad for your liver, the newest science is showing the exact opposite. Not only is kudzu good for your liver, it protects your liver too. It's used to treat cirrhosis, fatty liver disease, liver failure, and other liver conditions. One of the coolest things about this plant is its effect on drinking alcohol. Turns out, using kudzu root extract can help lessen the desire for alcohol. And study after study shows that kudzu root extract decreases the desire to drink. Pretty neat, huh? To use kudzu, the root can be eaten and used as a replacement for potatoes or as an extract. The leaves and flowers can be eaten raw, made into a tea, turned into a capsule or extract, or whatever works for you. Number two is pokeweed. Here's another plant that's supposed to be bad for you. Now, I'm not advocating anybody take this plant. In fact, I'm telling you don't take it. I'm just simply talking about traditional uses in some recent science, and that's it. Native American tribes used pokeweed for a variety of ailments. It was used for neurological disorders such as epilepsy and anxiety. It was also used for inflammation, pain, arthritis, lung disorders, and to heal wounds. However, some newer science is showing that it has the potential to be a powerful antiviral herb. Some test tube studies have shown it to affect the viruses on an RNA level, and it stops them from replicating, especially the HIV virus. Other studies have shown it could have some potential to anti-cancer properties, too, which is pretty cool. Number three is going to be the magnolia tree. Magnolias are found all over the world and have been used medicinally for thousands of years. The bark, flowers, and leaves are used for inflammation, pain, digestive disorders, headaches, fevers, asthma, and even weight loss. They've also been used to help with stress, anxiety, depression, and insomnia. Magnolias also help with women's conditions such as menopause and premenstrual issues. Some recent research is showing several compounds from magnolias are effective against many kinds of cancer, including breast, liver, colon, skin, and other organ cancers making this another multifunctional herb from Georgia. Well, I'm about out of time for this video, and if you liked it, let me know in the comments. What part of it surprised you the most? Otherwise, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye.